Hi everyone! Today we're going to talk about how to use the reciprocal rule formula to find the derivative of a function. To complete this problem, we'll understand the reciprocal rule formula by deriving it from the quotient rule formula, and then we'll use the reciprocal rule to calculate the derivative of our function. Let's take a look. In this particular problem, we've been asked to find f prime of x, which is the first derivative of our function f of x, given that f of x is equal to a divided by b plus c times e to the x. So to solve this particular problem, we're going to need to use the reciprocal rule formula, which I've written over here. And the reciprocal rule formula tells us that when we want to take the derivative of this quotient here, or a fraction, where we have one in the numerator and any function, we'll call it g of x, in the denominator, the derivative of this function, one over g of x, is negative g prime of x divided by g of x squared, which means that the numerator of our derivative function will be the derivative of the denominator times negative one, right, the negative derivative, and the denominator of the derivative function will be the denominator of our original function squared. So this is the reciprocal rule formula, and you can actually derive the reciprocal rule formula from the quotient rule formula really easily, but the reciprocal rule formula is somewhat limiting um, in and of itself because it only gives us the formula when we have a value of one in our numerator. In our case, we have a value of a in our numerator, which is not one. In our function, a, b, and c are all to be treated as constants, but we don't know necessarily what they're equal to, and we certainly don't know that a is equal to one. So the reciprocal rule formula is a little bit limiting. So let's actually go ahead and use the quotient rule formula to derive the reciprocal rule formula so that we can come up with a formula that will allow us to take the derivative of our function f of x. So remember that the quotient rule formula tells us that if we want to take the derivative d dx of a quotient or a fraction of two functions, so let's say g of x divided by h of x. So if we have a fraction like this with a function in the numerator and a function in the denominator, which we'll call g of x and h of x, when we want to take the derivative of something like that, the formula we use to do it is g prime of x, so the derivative of the numerator, times the original denominator minus the original numerator times the derivative, h prime of x, the derivative of the denominator, all divided by the original denominator squared. This is our quotient rule formula. Well, what we can see here is that if we treat g of x as a constant, right, if we have instead of a, instead of a more complicated function in our numerator, if we just have a constant, and instead of g of x, we call this a constant, let's say, k, we'll just call it a constant k. If we have a constant here, then we're going to be looking at, instead of g prime of x here, we're looking at the derivative d dx of a constant k. This here will be k itself, and the rest will stay h of x or h prime of x from our denominator. Well, if we simplify this quotient rule formula, what we find is a couple of things. First of all, the derivative d dx of k, the derivative of any constant is zero. We know that the derivative of any constant is zero. So since we're going to get a value of zero here for this, we're going to have zero times h of x. This whole first part here is going to go away. And what we're left with is just negative k times h prime of x all divided by h of x squared. And what we learn when we simplify this is that when we have, when we're trying to take the derivative of a fraction and we have any constant k in the numerator and a function in the denominator, that the derivative of that fraction will be negative k, so negative one times the numerator, the, the constant in the numerator k, times the derivative of the denominator all divided by the original denominator squared. So this now 
looks, we can, we can notice that this looks exactly like our reciprocal rule formula. The only difference is essentially that instead of limiting ourselves to a value of one in our numerator, we've said if that is, a, if, is any value, any constant k, then we essentially just have negative k here. We add that k or we multiply by that k in front of our numerator. So this formula gives us a lot more flexibility because we're not limited to a value of one here. We can have any constant. And this, will, this formula will allow us to take the derivative of our function f of x because we have a, a constant a in our numerator. So let's go ahead and use our new adapted reciprocal rule formula here that we just proved using the quotient rule to find the derivative of f of x. So we'll go ahead and say that the derivative of f of x we'll call f prime of x, will be equal to, notice using our reciprocal rule formula here, we'll have negative k, knowing that k is the constant in our numerator. So that means we're gonna get negative a, then we're gonna multiply that by g prime of x. g of x is the denominator from our original function, and since we're taking g prime of x, it's gonna be the derivative of our original denominator. So we're going to multiply this by the derivative of our original denominator, which is b plus c times e to the x. Then, according to our adapted reciprocal rule formula, we have the original denominator squared. So we're going to divide this by our original denominator, or I should say the square of our original denominator. So b plus c e to the x squared, like this. Now we've plugged in all the components of our problem into our adapted reciprocal rule formula. Now we just need to simplify. So we'll say negative a, the derivative of b plus c e to the x, we can take one term at a time. We know that the derivative of any constant is zero. Since b is a constant, we can say that the derivative of b is zero. And now we have c e to the x. Well, we know that the derivative of e to the x is simply e to the x itself. And since c is a constant that's multiplied by e to the x, that'll go ahead and stick to the e to the x. It'll stay. So we'll be left with plus c times e to the x, all divided by the quantity b plus c e to the x squared. And when we simplify this, f prime of x, the derivative of f of x, is equal to, we'll multiply negative a times zero, and of course we'll get zero. Then we'll multiply negative a times c e to the x, and we'll get negative a c e to the x, all divided by the quantity b plus c e to the x squared. And that's it. That's our final answer. This is the derivative f prime of x of our original function f of x, and we found this derivative using the reciprocal rule formula that we adapted to account for any constant k in our numerator here instead of the reciprocal rule formula, which just limit, limits us to a value of 1 here in the numerator. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.